The views and opinions expressed on hashtag WTF to me do not necessarily reflect those of the public broadcaster nor Urban Brew Studios. All necessary precautions have been taken to minimize any bias or prejudice. Well, good evening, Glenn and I are December babies. So tonight we're celebrating our birthdays with a yes. Here are some weird birthday stories to get you in the mood. American woman Jennifer Alvarez faked her kidnapping last year to avoid planning her boyfriend's birthday party. Yo, boyfriend, are you that high maintenance? Let me who's this Jennifer chick you're dating and like, eh? She can plan a kidnapping, but she can't plan a birthday party. Hi, Kabalenja. And sticking with birthday parties, a mom in England billed a child for missing her son's fifth birthday party. Hey, good rough, ne? The child can barely count and is already in debt. But I'm putting that one in my pocket. Anyone who might find themselves in debt soon, though, is Dr. Pierre Chevre, a Houston plastic surgeon. Now his client, an, anom an anonymous Virginia woman, is suing him after discovering nude photos of her breasts were posted on his website and they were found by her 12-year-old son during a birthday party. She's not dealing with the fact that her 12-year-old is looking at breasts during a party. Anyway, <laughs> sure that poor doctor feels like it's it. Yeah, I think that client definitely bust his booble. <laughs> and lastly, did you guys hear about LaShawn Stuckey, the American drug dealer who chewed through a police car seat belt to get to his son's birthday party? Since there are deadbeat dads out there, here is a man. He is chewing through a whole entire seat belt to get to his child's birthday. But there you are, where now Sheleka, you next door. You can't even do anything for your child on their birthday. Sis, well done, Wenala Sean. You are the one. I wonder if they sent him a slice of cake in jail. I'm sure it would have come in handy to help him get that seat belt taste out of, this mouth, out of his mouth. Well, we have a great show tonight. Our comedy friends Mojak Luhoko, Jay Boogie, and Nicholas Goliath are here to help us celebrate our birthdays. Apparently, my favorite rapper, Tuk Semanga, is here. Ah! Okay, wait. I don't want to believe it. I want to believe it when I see it, because then I could believe it and then it doesn't happen. Okay, it's going to happen. But first, Glenn, what's the WTF of the day? Thank you, Matumza, and good evening to you out there watching Mzanzi. The WTF of the day today is, whoa, the feces. Uh, listen to this, guys. A couple of years ago, American Jacinda Cambrai was celebrating her birthday when suddenly it started raining feces. I'm not joking. This is a real story. While it's still quite unclear as to where the droppings originated, the family surmised that the, the feces may have fallen from one of the five overhead planes that were flying over their heads at the time. I always wondered where planes deposited our sh Shenanigans, BCCSA, Glenn. Right. All I'm saying is if I was at that party, I would have gone, crappy birthday to you. <laughs> crappy birthday to you. Ka, 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 ka. Ah. Very funny, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, uh, this Jakinda special day was nothing short of perfect. Oh, see what I did there? Perfect. Okay. Maybe they're stinking rich. Our first guest is a comedian, a writer, and has an age pack to die for. Please welcome Bojack Luhoko. Put the future behind us. Eh? We don't fuck with that 
take him off with the Spin the wheels, brother. Thank you. Uh, Give mama some love. Hello. Look at this tie. How are you? Oh, oh, fantastic, Rabbi Yeah, peanuts. It's good to have you. Thank you Glenn, very much. what's Mojack drinking? So here's one of Mojack's jokes. It goes, I grew up so poor that I only had my first fish at the age of 18, but yet I grew up eating their fingers. Have you ever seen a fish with fingers? So it turns out <laughs> that I may, I may be paraphrasing. Yes, <laughs> very much. <laughs> but it's still a dry joke. Okay. And Mojak likes his jokes like he likes his drinks, dry and wet at the same time. So this is a dry white. All right. Because right. the, uh, fish, the fish is wet. Yes, thank you so much. That's a pleasure. Yes, thank you. Grape, grape juice, by the way. Right, of course. <laughs> Depending on who's watching. Sure. Oh, there we go. Um, I, I thought you were going to actually say, because it's, it's a Chardonnay, mm. and it's dry, yeah. and it's white, that yes. he takes his drinks the way he takes you, dry and white. <laughs> That's better than what he <laughs> just did. I'm on board to me. I'm and, on board. And you've landed on day. Oh, good Lord. It was on strip down for a moment. I was not <laughs> ready for that. You know you've not put on roll-on because you're not <laughs> expecting <laughs> I was the proper bullet. Thank you. Oh, oh, no, the day is very simple. You have to put water in your mouth and stare at Glenn without laughing. Is that the day? That's the that day. The oh, day. that's great. Where's oh, the water? No. Bring it I, on. I, Glenn, do you want to change it? Do you feel like it's too easy? It's too easy. I mean, he, to stares at, he stares at me all the time. I think he should dial the last number on his phone and ask that person what they're wearing. The last number on my phone. Yes. It could end up being you, hey? Yeah, I don't think you want to. Who up is it? My aunt, that. No. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. That sounds great. Okay, let's okay, do it. Cool, cool. Yeah. Where's the water? What, what? Oh, I thought you said you were going to call oh, and ask no, that person no, what they're wearing. Oh, no, not at this time of the year. <laughs> that's, no, that's, that's, the, that's the day. <laughs> that's no, the day. What the, no, the day was water, and then you changed it. You've changed the ballot paper <laughs> on election day. <laughs> Uh, yeah, fine. Right. Give him okay, the water. fine. Okay, what okay. you have to do is you have to take a sip of this water. Yes. Okay, but I pour it for you. Okay. Okay, so there you go. And then, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. and you then really want to make it. a man open his mm. mouth don't so you can put something in it. And you just have to stare at me. Mm. For th but you have to, yeah, it has to be here in your cheeks. Your mouth is has it to still be there. Mm. Let okay. him put mm -hmm. the water in himself. Okay, mm. let's do a challenge. I'll do it also. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm not going to do it because <laughs> it's not going to end well. <laughs> so you just have to just stare at me for the next 10 seconds. How much longer has he got? Nine. You're, eight, very, you're very beautiful seven, six, um, up close. Five, I haven't seen you this four, close before. And three, you really are quite two, beautiful. One, so time. Thank it was you. so much more fun to see you fail after two seconds <laughs> yes. than to watch him hold and water he, in his mouth. And he just said facts. You're very beautiful up close. <laughs> I mean, I cannot be upset with that. I've never oh. been so close to you before. I mean, it's the last time, but <laughs> thank you for that. I appreciate that moment. So you've been doing comedy for like eight or nine years that now, That is hey? correct, yes. Do you remember what you did with your first hundred bucks from Cool Runnings? Oh, that was terrible. I, uh, I ordered like a round of drinks for everyone and it cost more than the money I had. <laughs> first gig I'd spent my career earning in one go. <laughs> I was in debt when I left that bar. So that's advice to new comedians, don't, don't order drinks for everybody. How, how, did, that, how did that set go? It was, uh, it was okay, mediocre at best, but they called me back to do more. Yeah. And I was like, you've made a terrible mistake. And look at us now. Yay. Hip, hip days. Now, tell me, Miss Anthel. Yes. Have you seen her since since high school? Like, I, I has she been like, yay, I want royalties? No, but for what? She didn't do anything. <laughs> I, I did look her up on uh, on Facebook, and I was like, oh, that's uh, that's nice. She's got a whole new world now, new uh, life. Oh, really? Things have changed. Has I she mean, retired? I don't know. We didn't get that deep. It wasn't like. Oh, did hey. you chat? I don't know if you're saying you were stalking her or you chatted. No, to her. no. She popped up. I wasn't like in her DMs. Like, remember me from? <laughs> <laughs> remember me from English? But you know what time it is, ma'am? Break time. No, it wasn't. It wasn't one of those. <laughs> Are you gonna do anything with your quantity surveying qualifications? Yes, I'm going to hang it on the wall uh, where it should be. <laughs> well, that's what you do with degrees. No, I have I have no business in a real job. Yeah. Yeah, they're not, they're not ready for me. But it took you six years to do a three-year degree. Oh, right? people keep bringing that up. It's no, like No, what every... I want to know, did you not survey the quantity of time it'll take to finish? Oh, <laughs> my goodness. I thought this was going to be a fun experience. <laughs> <laughs> a 
and here I am with this white wine. Being roasted. No, Being but roasted. seriously, what, what made you... No, I know, because I, I took a hiatus for my degree and then I eventually finished it. Yeah. So what made you finish it? Because it's completely unrelated to what you're doing. I basically, I, I was running out of time. If I didn't go back in a year, I would have lost all my credits. And I had ah. 17 full-year credits. I was two subjects away from a BSc in quantity surveying. Ah. So I went back and I was like, ha-ha! <laughs> and then I was older than all the other kids there. <laughs> So that was really weird. Well, did you did you find yourself telling them, yeah, it's out, it's rough out? No, because they'd complain like, oh, we've got so many notes. I'm like, that's the point. That's how you pass an exam with more notes. And they just had weird problems, like about covetin money. <laughs> then I was like, you guys don't know about debit orders. Eh? You're not ready for the real world. You guys are playing games out here. It was ridiculous. I mean, did you do it for your parents? Are they happy that you've got it? Yeah, I think they were a little bit, I mean, Ma, if you're watching at home, this is, it was for you. <laughs> totally, and Pa, and, but mostly for me. Like, I was, I, it was hanging on my shoulder. It was that monkey on my back. Aye. Yeah, so I had to just get it out. Okay. It is well, it's time for an ad break. We have more from Mojek and his surveyed quantities when we return. I'm just going to do the rest of the show like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Remember to hit us up on the socials, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and whatever else has been invented. And use the hashtag, hashtag WTF to me. We are hanging out with comedian Mojak Lohoko, and it's not like he's uncomfortable enough. No. So I'm going to ask him. Taking time seems to be your thing yeah. based on this post. Yes, taking time. Take a look. Take a look there. Hmm? Oh, where did you find that? On the internet socials. You didn't blur out people's names even. What, why? That. Who do you want to hide there? <laughs> Got Glenn Beatham and Pam. Yeah. That's nice. Yes, that's uh Oh wow. How my many? lady's gonna kill all that's of you. That's the thing, that's Kintrata Hau. <laughs> oh yeah, my lady's eh? gonna Kintra cut Tsahau. all of you. Kintrata Hau. That's, that's, what? Kintrata Hau. No, but you see my, my lady works in a very public space and now you've now you've like You've just gigabyte my lady. Oh, no. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> How does that, does um, she not like the attention? N it's not about, it's a long story, but we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll discuss it uh, with my lawyers. No, I'm joking, <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. it's So wh good. when did you meet Bay? Uh, I met Bay at a gig at, uh, there used to be a place in Melville called Cool Runnings where I actually began my comedy yeah, career. Yeah, that's where we all, like most of us, yeah. most of the best of this country started. Yeah, and we hung out and then uh, we were, I was a broke student when I I met her and then we just hung out and we started dating. Oh, she must really like you. You must be really I'm, nice. I'm really good in the, oh. uh, you know. Oh, are you? Are you? Are you <laughs> really That's good. Not you imagine things anyway. No, you I'm just really, the really in the good in the, in the kitchen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. my noodles is fire. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so, is it so, penne? Whoa, Puccini. it's okay. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, <laughs> around the holiday season. This is great. This is great. So we just we just hung out and, <laughs> and uh, alas, here we are. When are uh, you putting a ring on it? Um, I. You know what? The uh, Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday's a good yeah, time. Yeah, I think Tuesday, Tuesday feels it good. It is. I mean, it's been a good corporate season. Yeah. I think it's... Uh, I think it's the one, yeah. Mm. Tuesday, are you guys free? Are you guys... I'll be free? around. I'm okay, big. cool. Yeah. On board. So we got uh, a best man uh, and what... I don't know MC, what the thing is. MC, MC, Alex. Uh, okay. Best nice. la first lady. No, yes. what is it? What is it? Uh, maid of honor. Right. Maid of honor. Maid of honor. Did you just say first lady? Okay. <laughs> anyway. So, <laughs> tell us about Lobola though. Are you saving up? Oh my my! As you saw, my person is um, is of Caucasian yeah, descent. Yeah, but you can still offer. You can't decide for them. No, the no, no, no. They know. No, no, no. If if they're of the other, you no, just bring chicken no, pieces. No, I'll tell you what, how it works because I'm of the Jewish descent yes. too. So what happens is you nominate a sort of a holding company who is an individual, um, and then the lobola goes through that person. Maybe a mutual friend, for example, has to be Jewish. Yeah. You should be a comedian. Okay. So what I recommend is you filter that. You, I should be the the spokesperson. <laughs> that sounds very specific. <laughs> 
<laughs> that sounds nice. And then you, and then I will, I decide sort of where, whether it goes back to you or whether it goes into the community. Usually it'll go into the community. Okay, I, I go with the NGO then. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, what is the purpose of your life? I mean, has that always been like your vibe? How, what is your pickup line? My my pickup line is, hey, can I pick you up? No, um, <laughs> my my pickup line. I don't have pickup lines. How did you get her? I'm a grown man. What do you mean get? You guys are making it sound like I was on I was online shopping. <laughs> <laughs> then I put in credit card details. <laughs> ah, I left this one. This smart one is there. No, I, we just we just hung out. Was well, you already kicking it in the neck before she met you, or have you been teaching? Her I words? have no idea. We, I mean, <laughs> it's not like when you buy a car, then they go, "These are the previous owners." <laughs> Look here, only no, one. I mean language. <laughs> no, I mean language that we speak. Oh, oh wow! That's what funny. One lady, <laughs> one one lady tried. No, what I'm saying is, were we able to come before she hooked up with you, or? No, I hit her with. Her. A, I hit her with. A, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> wow, that's we're never going to get the answer to this. Let's find out <laughs> if we can learn anything from his DMs at least. Let's play hashtag top three. I do. Good. Right, in hashtag top three, I'm going to invade my guest's privacy a bit for three things that he will need to explain. We're going to spin the wheel, yeah. Bojack, and wherever it lands, I'm going to interrogate you for three things. So if it's a man bag, I'm going to pull out three things. Okay. If it's Instagram or Twitter, I'm reading three DMs from there. Let's spin the wheel. <laughs> I need a drink for this. <laughs> you weren't ready for that. Oh, oh. may I please Instas. have your phone? My Insta DMs. Quickly. Oh, good Lord. Uh, how, the producers mentioned <laughs> none of this. That's the, the point. There, there you That's go. What You'll we take do. it up with the producers. Me, I'm just a host here. So have you, have you taught her any vernac? Uh, yes, I have. What? Tell up, boy. Why well, is there up, nothing boy. happening here? <laughs> what are you trying to do? It's a... Uh... LOL, bro. I had no costume, but thought if it. Hotel slippers, hotel mug, whiskey, and my lanyard from the show. Ow! Okay. What were you people talking about? So my friend uh, Tats and Konzo was in Los Angeles and, ah. and went to a Halloween party dressed as himself. <laughs> he was wearing all of his own clothes. A gown, <laughs> had a mug and slippers from the hotel. And I nice. was like, that is my hero. That's good. He dressed like this arrogant. What? Who? Are you bleeping all of this out? How? <laughs> wow. Bleep who for what? Let's see. Yo, where'd you get that? Do you know where I can get a copy? Please tell me you guys were talking about my book. What is that? it's expired. It's between you and Suhail Essa. Where did I get... Oh, no, that's about a book called... It's actually about your book. It's about your yes. book. <laughs> it's and about then, your answer. book called... Good answer. Called uh, 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 Me and Mamara. Mara, no. we are doing good now. No. It's called Mamara and I. Times are fine. No. It used to be rough. Oh, my God, I love Aisha Alpha. It's good to see you're DMing with her. Well, who's your mega crush today, my friend? Mom? Oh, what? <laughs> Thanks, to me. My Mega Crush Monday today is Antonio Flores Nakiso. That's how you say it. It's the Spanish pronunciation. This dude stabbed his birthday boy roommate over a loud threesome in 2014. To me, can you believe that? Ha! Huh? So he stabbed him with his like. No, involved. no, no. He like actually stabbed him with a, with a pencil. Oh! I thought you were gonna say he stabbed him with his pencil. No, not no. He actually. To me. It was a bad thing. Yo, shame on that birthday guy, though. I mean, so much cake to go around, you're not even sharing. Stuff, man. Anyway, my next guest is an actor and a comedian. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jay Boogie. <laughs> What is he having? Mm -hmm. So apparently Jay Boogie usually wears rocks. Is that is that right? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so I got you a whiskey on the rocks mm -hmm. and you have to boogie woogie <laughs> to get it to you. I can't just give it to you, I have to boogie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you like a yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You are right. Yeah. Um and he has landed on mm, live on a little. Down, Down it. it. Huh? That's so boring. You know what I'm saying? So he needs to down a tequila shot. Right, or a, or a shot of lemon a juice, it's up to you. Hey, you went, hey, last time we get to again, again, I listen to music, they're going to say, ah, 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 
Hello, Rosa Mulani. What are you going to down, the tequila or the lemon juice? Uh, I'll have the tequila. And you can chase it with the lemon juice. I will do it. Oh, okay. because it's your best day, next. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. go. Three, okay. two, one, go. Yes. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. So, this is a cool man. Wash it down, wash it down, wash it down. With something able to look at it. Oh, it's an overjal. Because it has alcohol, it is handleable. It was a way to a response. I can't win. Oh, you can't. So, you started, you started your, 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 your comedy career yeah. parodying other people, yeah. right? Who yeah. was your favorite person to impersonate? Um, it, it was uh, Martin Lawrence. Yeah? It was Martin Lawrence. Hit us up, hit us up. Um, I, I just like uh, when he used to, because I used to watch this show, Hachola. Hey. Oh, baby, it's a man thing, baby! <laughs> 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 I love that. Uh, Gina? I feel used like a piece of meat. Yeah, and I, I used to love Martin and, and Eddie Murphy. Yeah. And, and Bill Cosby before the... The touching of, of more, other people. Can you do a Bill Cosby? No, no, just, just, just. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you do when he, when he, when he saw the high yeah, now. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm oh. going. Oh. Uh, what is going on? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know my favorite motto? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I said Jerome. <laughs> oh, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> you know you guys are giving away your age. You're old. You're old. Is there a big difference between when you were starting out in comedy, like the, your persona as a comedian? Has it changed a lot from when you started to how you are now? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a lot, a lot. I'm an Ekekala, like I did, I did. I was just rough, man. Now, you know, if I, I'm talking about sex, I'll throw myself on the on the floor. And... I remember the first time I saw you, yeah. we were out there. Uh, Carltonville side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I'll, I'll just get into it. And uh, hey, people were like, oh, dude, just tone it down yeah. a bit, you know? Because he was funny, but you were so tired after watching yeah, him. You know, like, yeah. as a comedian, not as an audience member. Because yeah. I'd be like, hey, I'm tired already. What am I going to do now? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> He's so, eating all of the energy on the so, stage. So, I know, I know, no. Right now, man, I'm just hitting it. I'm, I'm, I'm having fun on stage. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm spending less time. Uh, I'd rather explain it to you than, yeah. than you know. Hearing fame, mong ane. Yes, I'm on you. I'm on you. You can get Jordan in you. Yeah. Excuse us. Sorry. Excuse us. Sorry. My bad. Sorry. My bad. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're not a little man. Jay, you had your your one man earlier this year. My disability. Yeah. Why 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 that name? Did you did you get a grant from Sasa? <laughs> to put it up, what, what was the I, I, Wait, I wish I, I had a grant from Sasa. <laughs> let, let me tell you, I, I wish. Why I call it my disability is that my, my mind is, is, is a bit <laughs> nyana, you know. <laughs> and I'm, I, I'm married to a disabled woman, so, right. you know, the, my whole environment is just a disability thing. So, you know, everywhere I go, man, pick and pay, I'll pay first. So, uh, yeah, Wait, they, but, uh, hold on. What? So, my disability, you're using my wife or my disability, like her, my you're playing with everything. As, as and your wife really is disabled. Yeah, she is. What kind of disability? Uh, she mentally and physically, Nyana. Oh, oh. <laughs> what is going on? So, she. Oh, no, I didn't say that. Oh, no, what's it, Nyana? I've never dated somebody that was normal, dude. Like, I tried. The views expressed by Jay Boogie do not <laughs> represent that of everyone. Has, has, has anyone ever complained about any of your jokes and gone, you're inappropriate? Yeah, they have, but it's my wife. It's my, it's my experience. Well, there we go. While you penned that complaint, we are heading over for an ad break. Nicholas Goliath joins us when we return. Excuse me. <laughs> Not being marriage material, honey. Ratchet kept me married nine years. Oh!
Welcome to main seas. This is hashtag WTFTB on SABC3. We are now joined by the youngest member of the Goliaths, Nicholas. Welcome to the show, Mr. Goliath. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having Hi. me. Eventually. I'm amazing. How are you? Good <laughs> eventually. Yeah, I thought my career was you going are so well. Many. You are everywhere. You had a, a very blazing year, which I has made you hard to get. So really? now you want to complain about the very thing. Okay, no, it's fine. I just needed someone to boost my ego. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this end of the year vibes, you feel like you just didn't hit all your targets. Yeah. So it's nice to know I'm doing well somewhere. You're the youngest one, but you're the one with the kids and the wife. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I, I started early. <laughs> while, while the other guys were playing games out, yes. out there doing real men's work. <laughs> and, <laughs> Unprotected real men's work, nice. you can tell. Yeah, yeah so, so two kids, uh, my wife and I together for like 15 years now. Yay. Wow. 15 years, married for five, obvious. Um, and then, <laughs> no, obvious. You, must, you must make sure. Yeah. You can't well, you guys it. It. Look at Mojek, I mean, come on. <laughs> 12 well, years well. in, still dating. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't even met the parents yet. Uh, hasn't even met <laughs> the no, parents? I have met the parents. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to listen to it? Just... They don't want him. <laughs> no, Actually, not the that's an interesting boy. coincidence there because He's a Christian man with a Jewish woman, and you are a Christian man with a Muslim woman. Yes, it's. Uh, was it was it interesting trying to get married? It it wasn't interesting. You know, the nice thing is we both had the same views, like on religion, Aww. which I will not discuss now because people <laughs> no, like me to. in the world. Yes, that's um, fine. But yeah, so we 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 were very similar minded. So yeah. we we worked, and with our kids, it was there were no arguments. There, our parents tried. Then we're just like, were you there when we were busy making these two? No. <laughs> Our business. So now Don't get involved. Mm -mm. So, yeah. <laughs> and um, you could, like, family is a thing for you, now. It's, it's very important to you. Very, yeah. And uh, your dad and your brother used to make fun of your family. Um, my dad and my brother, I don't have a brother, um, for one. I mean, your, your dad <laughs> and his brother, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad and my brother and his brother yes. made fun of us all the time, made fun of everyone. They once teased their brother, so th there's five brothers, right? Mm -hmm. They were coming from a funeral with the, the sister's husband, so their brother-in-law, on the back of a parky in KZN, because that's where they're from. They teased the guy so much that he got out of the parky and walked 10 kilometers home. <laughs> because I was like, I've had enough of this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been teased. Like, there's nothing you can say to me. That Is that what got you into comedy? That's what got me into comedy, it made my skin thick. Trauma. Yeah, mm. for days, for days. Mm. My father once told me, because I had bad acne, and um, you can't see now because I'm beautiful, but like, <laughs> I, he, he once said to me, Yo, you got so many pimples, your pimples have got pimples. Oh, <laughs> uncle. Guys, you really didn't need to laugh that loud. <laughs> you really... That was your dad? That was my dad. God. I mean, if your dad is saying things like that to you, how can you worry about anyone else? Uh, and what about the kids? Do they know that their dad's a comedian? Do they know he's on TV? Do they see you? Do they... They do. They do know that I'm a comedian. Uh, my eldest son, Matthew, he, I, I once took him to a gig with me um, and let him watch me do the opening of the club. And um, he, he begged my, his wife, my, well, my wife, <laughs> he begged my wife to take him out because I used some vulgar language and he's, he doesn't see that at uh, all. So then yeah. he was like, no, this is not my dad. This is not how things <laughs> Wow. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you see that Freudian slip? It was Oedipal, in fact. Yes. Oedipal, in that he called his wife his son's wife, which tells the dynamics in the house who has my mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know where Beautiful. the power lies. He's winning. Now, birthdays are all about fun and games, so how about we get into a game of hashtag clapback? Right, so uh, we're going to show you guys a couple of tweets that the folks out in Twitterville have tweeted. Uh, this is your guys' opportunity to clap back as quick and as fierce as you can. It might be love, we don't know. Let's okay. see what they've got. Okay, oh. Glenn is not funny, he is just drunk. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so honest, I love that tweet, Marcus. Oh, uh, Marcus, I, I mean, it, it is true. It, it is true that I am just drunk, but I'm drunk on TV, so it doesn't matter oh. because mm. I'm still getting paid. No. <laughs> oh. That is so cute. I love your response. Okay, so Bosch, Jay Boogie was going to be far with comedy. Problem is, he's so ghetto. Ew. How? I don't know if that's how. I think ew. that's ew. 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 So I'd being, expect you to so know that. So being ghetto too. is, uh, is a thing. I wish I could see her face, how she looks. Because <laughs> with that profile picture, she looks ghettoer than I. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, I wouldn't even pick her up. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> 
Next. <laughs> Bojack Loco forgets his accent. He is related to is Tibo. He related? Is he related to mm. Tibo Touch Loco? <laughs> it's MH. Forgets his mm. accent. What does that even mean? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? Where, which camera am I on? It's there. Ewan, hey, <laughs> hey. Manayana. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> and they said, Trey Pinky's the ghetto one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, no, sometimes I don't pack my accent with me. You know, like when you go to gym <laughs> and you forget a fresh towel. I forget. <laughs> Sometimes I speak like this, sometimes like, yo, fam, you know we out here doing this comedy <laughs> thing, yeah. man. Yo, I was crushing last night. No, then I'm man. like, my camera! <laughs> <laughs> so she's right. I'm not even mad at that person. Uh, uh, Zanako says, Nicolas Goliath uh, doesn't look like a Goliath brother. Is he yeah, a silent, silent partner? partner. Oh. You know, I want to refer back to Jay's comment on, let's take a look at this profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should go and see the silent partner at the hair salon. <laughs> because what is going on here? Ah, oh, that's ah. funny. Are uh, they also not brothers? Yeah. Uh, next. Uh, Tumi Mur this is Mel. Mel. Tumi Muraki now has a book, I, These Comedians, by a four star. I don't know what that means. Even me. Even forcing. me. By a force, uh, like I'm forcing matters. Oh, uh, okay. I, I can't. All right. I would say read the book, but that'll be a stretch. Forced, I'll learn you to do it. I forced it yet. The doors are open. How could I give them a thank you? Okay, yeah. And on that salient <laughs> note, darling, we're going to. We might. Actually, before we go to the ad break, I need to know from you guys mm. what are your plans for. Next year for 2019. 2019, um, man, I wanna, I wanna tour. I wanna tour out of Africa. Nice. I wanna, yeah. So Get I'm, off the I'm, continent. I'm, I've been making some plans. I'm hoping. I don't wanna talk about it because they know you say when you. You don't when you, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone at home is sitting and saying, please don't let him go. Please don't let him go. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I don't wanna tell you where I'm going, but yeah, I've, I've got some plans. Um, and then. Yeah, as a team, we've got some nice... Another Goliath club, I hope. We've got the... I mean... Ah, we like this thing. I like anything this. Anything possible. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm doing uh, the J Boogie uh, Comedy Bash. Oh, it's wow. on the 2nd of February. Mm. So come through, guys. Uh, I like it. Can I Where is one? that? Yeah, you, you can jump about... Uh, to be honest, I'm only going to invite, like, four comedians. And it's a bash. Oh. You know, yeah, right. So you can <laughs> on TV. Yeah, I think you're saying none of us are big so, enough to be uh, in it. I'm not saying. Okay, hey, let me it's not about who's big. It's me... about who I think is gonna make yep. it uh, an experience for people. So come through. Yep. 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 You still haven't said yes. Go guy. Our plans for 2019 is to nap more. <laughs> and um, I, I, I'm putting it out into the world. I want to shoot two DVDs next year. Nice! Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's it, yeah. Woo! I'm also going to take a nap. Let's go for a nap break. Whole... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ah. Right. <laughs> Sorry. That's as good as it gets. Sorry. Wow. It's enough for me. And that's all it takes. That's really enough. all it takes. It was that's enough that's... for me. Thank Thanks. you. I'll keep that. I know your <laughs> that husband's was... here, but he doesn't need to know. Glenn, you are so easy. I'm glad you're a man. <laughs> I really am. Mm. Mm. Uh, welcome to the Nadi Show. Uh, we hope you're enjoying this festive season. Glenn and I are celebrating our birthdays with fellow comedians Mojak Lohoko, Nicholas Goliath and Jay Boogie. But right now, someone who's very special to Glenn is about to join the party. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing oh, no. Glenn's BFF, the ever so gorgeous Zakia Patel. <laughs> 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 Present you found from the floor. Oh, you got what you got to do. Oh, 
How has it happened? Explain to us. Oh, do I do we write it down? No. No, yeah. We're not playing the game yet. I just asked you a question. Oh, is this just a the bashing of each other's of each other's, other's cars. cars. It, it's it, it's not on purpose. Um we, we, you know, cuz Zach and I used to live in different cities, so when I was in Joburg, I would use her car and when she was in Cape Town, she would use my car and for some bizarre reason, we would always crash them. Not on purpose, but by mistake. And Okay, in my defense, some chick drove Glenn's side mirror off. She like smashed it off, but had the decency to leave the mirror and a note with her dad's insurance details. In oh, my, nice! In my instance, I was reversing Zach's uh, car out of her driveway, waving and trying to be funny, and then I just... Oh! oh. Yeah. Didn't see it. Wow. And then I proceeded to just drive off, and she was like, what the... F why are you... Zach, wow. can you just tell us a story of when you thought Glenn was dying? And oh, my gosh. And gave up a whole uh, nice shower. My food. gosh, so... What? At university, we lived in Cape Town. I get this call, I'm busy, like, fully soaped up, hair is soaped up. My phone rings and I see it's Glenn. One call, I'm like, <laughs> whatever. Next call, I'm like, okay, I'm obviously desperate for something. Third call, I was like, it's a bloody emergency. Glenn, what's up, Zach? You need to come downstairs immediately. I literally soaked up, <laughs> still, still wet, put on clothes, wet, like skidded down the stairs, almost like died yeah. to get to Glenn parked outside my house with two new caps from a store going this cap or this cap. They still had the wow. tag, so I could this return. Cap. But, or this cap. <laughs> Glenn, <laughs> really? Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I needed Seriously. advice ASAP. And that, it's yeah. been like that ever since. It's, it's... That is scary. Because apparently you don't even use Google, do you? No, that, that Zach is my Google. That's the thing. That is it's horrible. It's an Indian version of Google. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Google, Google. I always oh, get it wow. cheaper. All right, let's get into the game. Well, let's get into the game now that the world gets to GFK in chemistry. Right. Do you have to write the question, the answers down at the same time without okay. oh, and then show. And then hold, out, then hold okay. up your questions, your okay. answers. Like this. First question, what is Zakia's bra size? 
Oh, oh God, I don't even know bra sizes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess. Okay. Yes. This is in five, okay. four, four, three, two. Well, that's <laughs> it. It is a B. Thank well you. Done. I don't spend a lot of time looking, but we do gym together so oh, sometimes. Oh wow! Sometimes. What, is Glenn's, together. what yeah. is Glenn's weirdest habit? In a oh, word. God. Oh no. Glenn's weirdest habit. Weirdest habit. I think I know. Oh, uh, that's embarrassing though. I'm not going to do that one. Oh, really? Oh, oh wow. So oh, not weirdest boring. habit. In not five, oh, four, oh. three, two, one. Hold on. Fart oh, at gym. Oh, that's on the, No, I didn't want to embarrass you. McDonald's on the weekend. Oh, yes, I love that. <laughs> and that makes me fart at gym. <laughs> on me. On me. Wow. On me. <laughs> 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 one of the three things. Zaki always carries in her handbag. Okay. Three things she always carries in her okay. handbag. Okay. <sighs> Are you drawing them? Uh, no. Five. Um, um, four. Oh, oh. Three. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> one. Uh, I don't zero. think this is right. <laughs> no time for stroke. No, what's that? Nuts. <laughs> nuts. Sometimes you have nuts. nuts. Yeah, I do. I always have nuts in my bag. Scarf. Who's not? And a phone. Okay, phone. phone, yes. Okay. Baby bump cream. Oh, yes, it married. literally gives you <laughs> fillers in your lips <laughs> for, for yeah. 60 bucks. I would never oh, know that. Oh, a nipple cream and a credit card. Wow. So that's oh, what Wow. Was... Finally, okay. there's something you don't know about her, Glenn. Okay. Um, would well, Glenn prefer I'm... to watch a chick flick action comedy <laughs> or horror movie? Oh, my gosh. Would Glenn prefer to watch... Chick flick, action, comedy, or horror? I don't even know that. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> and time. Uh... Yay, well done. That was an easy one. Easy. What is Zaki allergic to? Oh. What is she allergic to? <laughs> okay. I know. I know this. Okay. I know this. <laughs> Boom. Cats and dogs, dogs. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yeah! Okay. <laughs> What's the last one? one? What is Glenn's phobia? Uh, oh, God. Hey, it's, uh, I don't know. What? I mean to so it. uh, we all know it's not commitment. <laughs> 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 Apparently, it's going to so uh, uh, I don't know. You tell me. Three, two, fish. one. Fish. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She what is do you right. mean you're scared of fish? No, I don't eat fish. She hates it. Yeah. But that's uh, not a phobia, it's that's a an phobia. allergy. That's a, it's allergy. not an allergy, it's... But he doesn't have a phobia. Yeah. Phobia you, is... It's uh, very weird. I but he's scared. Like fish well done. Okay. Well, it for so long. it's time for another break. Tuk Singanga performs for us when we return. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna love to work with to anyone because Mshosa is, is, is the oh. friend for me, okay? <laughs> I love the music. Okay. I love the music and then let's I love go, the let's music. Let's go to an ad break before his English gets me any more. <laughs> <laughs> WTF to me. Now we can't have a party without some cake. Glenn, do you know how to sigale cake? Uh, no, we can do it together. Sigale cake. Oh, yeah. sigale, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, we <laughs> so we're gonna sigale cake, but while we sigale cake, we're also gonna be uh, jamming to the music. What a lot of people don't know is that I went to high school with this guy and we came to Jopeg. And I think our hustle has kind of uh, taken us places, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to first thank all my guests for coming. Mojak, thank salud, you so salud. much for coming. He has the best. I'm not kidding about that eight pack, but I won't let you show them. We've seen your girlfriend oh, now. Oh, why not? And, oh, show them. Yes, please. No, no, no. Oh, He's gonna show in February on the on the on the, on the, on the second. On the second, on the second. Uh, Zakia for being able to lie to her best friend. I'm so impressed. Oh, well done. Nicholas Goliath, <laughs> my favorite Goliath. I love you. Let it be known. Let it on TV. Morocco. Let them know. Thank you. They must yes. know. Now Glenn and I are back tomorrow. But to close off the show, please give it up for Tuks Singongo. Happy birthday.
c'est Radio Coucou, c'est Radio Keke. Oh, Kere Molo Pita, c'est Radio Keke. Get to a crack, Allah, Lele, Khai. Get to a crack, Allah, Lele, Khai. Chess, Kere Molo Pita. Kere Molo Pita. Yeah. Seriti <laughs> Check it out, check it out, get it. Molo Pita, Molo Pita, Molo Pita, Molo Pita, Molo Pita. From the crouching thunder, yeah, but start the whole rah. I can't kill it, but then I deep in the dark. My right, you see how it is. Do the same, I give a kill the same. When some, but we just lost one. No diggy did it, then I ran to her. Enjoy the freaking chips, got the ball, I took the bank, shot the push, I got the bank. I'm a kang, kara le ba kang. So kara phone for the next time, get the bus, set it up, get shanta. Molo pita, molo pita, get it, molo pita, molo pita. Get to a kang, kala le le ka, molo pita, kala le le ka, get to a kang, kala le le ka, molo pita. Check it out, check it out, get it in. Molo Pita, Molo Pita, Molo Pita, get it in. Molo Pita, Molo Pita. Yeah, that's what's up, man. For Motoko, Harafeta, oh, get it in. You know the rest. Singanga hoya kwana le kwana. Big ups. WTF. Whoa, whoa.